This talk is on sustaining the livestock systems in Nigeria through revitalization of the business approach. Livestock grazing over time has become an issue in Nigeria, which has resulted in security risks with regards to health standards and agricultural production. There are over 20 million cattle spread throughout the country, utilizing the open grazing method, and current conditions signify that pastoralism in the country is unsustainable in the long run, due to rapid population growth, agricultural development, and the loss of pasture and livestock routes. There is a need for the introduction of sustainable livestock systems that will benefit herders, farmers, businesses, and therefore consumers. Solving the grazing crisis requires the adaptation of several grazing methods in conjunction to open grazing. Firstly though, reallocation of vast open lands for this specific purpose is necessary for this to work. As I mentioned earlier, loss of routes is a major factor as to why methods that require open grazing have become an issue in the country. These lands will be restricted hereby allowing herders to go far and wide without worry and within their limitations. The herders can pay rents or be taxed in a mutually beneficial manner to both parties. Once this has been implemented, loss of pasture now becomes the major issue. This can be solved through adaptation of these grazing methods, such as rotational grazing, where pasture is subdivided into two or more smaller paddocks, with grazing carried out in planned sequences, or strip grazing, where movable electric fences are utilized to allot enough forage over a short period of time, and then moving the fences in different directions, providing new allocation of forage. The next grazing method I am proposing is zero grazing, which involves the use of quality feed formulations to provide for the nutritional needs of livestock. Less space is required here, and the rate at which the livestock mature is increased. These methods, I believe, will play a huge part in bringing an end to the herdsman nomadic crisis that has plagued the country. I've covered a little about production. Now I would like to move on to sales, specifically for livestock used for meat. All around the country, butchers sell meat in terms of weight to consumers. This is not the case when they are the ones buying these animals, which brings us to the issue of scales being used by herders and all the others in the market. The need for standardization of scales in the market presents a lot of potential, and this is the major reason why the industry needs to standardize its usage. A few techniques used in measuring the live weight of livestock include Schaefer's formula and the Rondo method. These all do not require scales, which I realize may be a little expensive to implement without government intervention. Rondo method, for example, is a tape used in measuring the weight of livestock. It is based on the measurement of the heart girth, which is reported to be highly correlated with the body weight of livestock. Why is all this important, you may ask? These methods are a crucial aspects for herders because it defines the amount of food ration that should be supplied to an animal to avoid underfeeding or overfeeding. The medication dosage, the approximate market value of the live animal before sale, and the animal's weaning period. Furthermore, reliable information is the foundation of sound management and should be the basis upon which government policies on regulating livestock industry are formulated and development priorities are established. Unfortunately, this is not always the case in Nigeria. The need for an impartial and comprehensive assessment of Nigeria's livestock resources using scales has long been recognized, but the subject has remained a matter of debate and conjecture. The measurement techniques should be used to determine the price at which livestock are bought and sold in the market. The butcher knows the amount which will be paid for the animal and the herder knows how much to sell their cattle. The herder breeds and nurtures the cattle to a specified weight class, providing the necessary nutrition and is sure to get value for their money. And so do the butchers and overall the final consumers. The price scale is necessary because neither the buyer nor seller can accurately estimate the weight of cattle with consistency. 
To judge the fairness of a price, the industry will need to develop a comprehensive system which determines the price of livestock based on market conditions. Livestock in market outlets were traditionally bought and sold with the buyer and seller negotiating a given price. The weight of the animal was the unknown factor that each estimated before discussing the price. The ease and convenience of using the price scale attracts more potential buyers, avoids risk of future price inflation, establishes confidence in the estimated pay weight, and is a veritable strategy for sales. Currently, Nigeria has no standardized classification system or method to describe livestock for domestic sale, export buyers, or even local slaughterhouses, and no standardized carcass classification related to yield or consumer acceptance. It is also important for both livestock officials and farmers to acquire training in basic business management practices to motivate the consideration of the economic implications of all their farming and animal husbandry methods. As the Nigerian economy grows, its livestock industry also grows. I believe establishing and maintaining a structure in this industry will improve the knowledge regarding animal reproduction, health, genetics, and nutrition. Finally, a strong and diverse Nigerian livestock industry will improve economic opportunities and food security for herders while strengthening domestic and international markets. Thank you.